Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Hopefully you can hear me now. Hi Elaine, hopefully you can hear me now. Yay! <laughs> Third time lucky. Hi Beverly, just waiting for a few people to arrive. Hi Eileen. I'll do the welcomes, just give time for a few people to arrive because it's literally only just six o'clock. Hi. We'll just give it a few seconds for a few, a few more people to arrive and then I'll start. Hi Anne. Thanks everybody for joining me. I'm just giving it a few moments for people to join because it's actually on the All and Create Facebook page. So some people may be going to, to my Facebook rather than the All and Create. Hi Yvonne. Hi David, I think I've pronounced that correctly. Great, I'm glad you can hear me Elmo, thank you. I must have pressed the mute button by accident. We will get started in a few moments, I'm just waiting to see if a few more people join. Hello Yvonne, hi, welcome. Perfect, thanks Dave, David. My pronunciation leaves a lot to be desired at times. Now I'm actually here on the All and Create page uh, and I'm uh, representing All and Create as part of the All and Create team and because this is a different page to my own personal Facebook page I'm actually going to run, a, do a quick run through of the stamps. I know some of you have already seen them but for those new viewers that haven't seen them I'm just going to do a quick run through of the stamps um, and for anybody that shares the video we're going to have a little giveaway at the end, um, which will be one of my stamp sets that I'm using today. Um, just giving it a couple more minutes. Mind you, it is a lovely evening, so quite a few people might be in the garden. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for joining, Amanda. Hope everybody's well. Just trying to get the card in the right place. Hi, Eve Eveline. Eveline. Hi. So we're actually going to be creating this card today um, and if I bring it up a little bit so you can see some of the detail in the card, we've actually got some stenciling. It's 90 degrees. Oh Eileen, no. Eileen, I couldn't. I would be, that's too hot for me. So this shows a little bit of the detail on the card just so you can see um, and we've got a few layers in there and I'll go through what we're using. Uh, and I'll start, I'll just do a quick run through of the stamps if that's okay with everybody. Um, that's why I'm inside. <laughs> I'm inside now, but I must admit, Eileen, I'm, I'm very warm. I'm really warm. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining us. So we're just going to do a quick run through of the stamps. I was just waiting a few moments because I know that a few people, um, it's only literally just six o'clock. Hi, Olga. So I'll get started on a couple of the stamps. We're just going to do a few sh a few previews. So we'll start with the A4 stamps. Uh, we've got a huge release here. Hi Hermine. Um, so I'm going to start with the A4 stamps, which hopefully you can get the detail here. Um, hi hon, late as normal. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it, Sue. Um, so literally these are an A4 stamp. And if I turn these over and show the detail, this is our A4 range and as I said before for anybody that shares the video we'll be having a little giveaway uh, which will the giveaway will be drawn tomorrow um, so there's our first A4 stamp that's actually designed by me hi Nikki um, hopefully you can see this okay I'll just dump these on the floor this one is by Olga um, and these are A4 stamp sets uh, hi Karen um, I'm trying to show you a bit more detail just so you can see here the detail of the stamps and this one's actually got a seahorse on there with a clock as well. Hi Karen, just running through the stamps Karen uh, for those people that are joining us new on the All and Create Facebook page so we're just running through the stamps uh, so that just shows you a bit more detail of Olga's stamp 
it takes a bit of time for my screen to catch up hi Joanne and then we'll get on to the sample here's another one by Olga an A4 stamp again the detail is fantastic we're just doing a quick run through for those people especially anybody from France or, or abroad who hasn't uh, seen my Facebook live if they've joined the all and create Facebook page we're just showing a few detail a few details of the stamps so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself so that is Olga's uh, we have an A4 stamp by by Pasha um, and here again lots of detail uh, hopefully you can see the detail <laughs> uh, and I've literally set my camera up a little bit different so that you can see the detail on the stamps hi Joanne we've now got some stencils I'll actually be using this one in the hello from the Netherlands hi so pleased you like the stamps um, so we're using this stencil in my um, live uh, so I'll be using this this one is from Cassie and we'll be using this in the demonstration so I can show you that later we then have a stencil by Etoile de Moi and I used this in one of my last I see my stamp I have to go and teach classes have a good class Olga my new stamps and stencils arrived today brilliant thanks for ordering Zoe um, so this is a stencil by Etoile de Moi I know for some people I am repeating myself but this is because we're on the All and Create Facebook page and a lot of the new new uh, people to the site haven't seen the stamps or stencils. This is another stencil by Etoile de Moi and I'm using this stencil in my demo today. Hi Rashmi. Um, so we'll be using that today. This stencil is by Carol & Co. A great all-rounder uh, and I've used that in a couple of samples as well. Hi Irina. Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me. Hope you're all looking forward to the bank holiday here in the UK. We've got a bank holiday, so we've got some lovely weather plans. So hopefully you're all looking forward to that. Uh, we've got another stencil here. Hi, Lisanne. Where's the best place to get these? If you look at our stockists online, Karen, I'll, I'll put a link on this Facebook Live of the, uh, and it'll take you to the page where all the stockists are, Karen and hopefully then you can get them from there and this is another stencil that we've got by Etoile de Moi and we had a lovely sample on the All in Create Facebook page with this today a um, scrapbook layout which was gorgeous so if you want any inspiration there's a scrapbook layout on the Facebook page for that one and then we have another stencil by Etoile de Moi. Etoile de Moi has been very, very busy with his stencils. And hopefully I'm giving you a better view because I've got a different setup with my camera. So hopefully you can see these better in more detail. We have another stencil by Casa Hazelden. And this is a rainbow. I need to use this one. I haven't used this one yet. So this one is by Cassie. Hi, Janet. Hi, Dawn. And this one is by Ada. Looks good, Tracy. Thanks, Eileen. So we have another stencil here that's got some wording on and some like branches. Wonderful for your mixed media projects. And then we have a stencil by Carol and Co. I love this one because all the edges are, they're not straight edges. So perfect for your mixed media and things. Absolutely wonderful. 26, 28 is superb. But yes, you can find out more about the products. I'll drop you a link and there's a link to all our stockists. And then the final stencil that I've got at the moment is by Carol & Co. Again, another one for your mixed media projects, cards, layouts. Wonderful how you've got a, um, a random edge. It's not all straight. Thanks, Olga. Hi, Joanne. I feel a, church, a purchase or five coming on. <laughs> I'm just going to run quickly through the A6 stamps that I've got. I know some of you have seen these before, so I do apologise. But this is for our new viewers on the All and Create um, Facebook page. Um, so this is my stamp. And for those that don't know me, my name is Tracy Evans. For those that are joining us and have never met me before, mine, we can see everything perfectly. Thanks, Olga. 
Hi Corrie. So for those that don't know me, my name is Tracy Evans and I'm part of the All and Create design team. Um, and I'm popping here today, we're going to do a demonstration for you. And if you share the video today, there will be a giveaway, which we'll draw tomorrow for those that share the video. Um, we have a stamp by um, Fiona. Hopefully you can see these a little bit better now. We haven't got as much glare. It takes practice. I've only, it's only taken me four times and I've, I've just about got it right now, I think. So you can see the detail on that one. Lovely scribbly designs by Fiona. Brilliant designs. This is my border stamp. Uh, they're not in, sorry, they're not in any order. Um, but this is my border stamp. I love the detail on this and, and how all the detail has come out. If I bring this up a bit towards the camera, hopefully you can see the detail a bit more. You can see all the lines. Oh, thanks very much, Almo. Um, and then brilliant for mixed media. Media. There's no point me turning it around because I've used it with black ink and that just shows you nothing at all. But wonderful detail. And I have used that in quite a few samples if you go to my Facebook page. And this one I love. This is by Olga. And he's designed... Um, the inspiration for this was actually my pug. I've got two black pugs and Olga's inspiration for this was, was my black pug, one of my black pugs. I think that's adorable. And if you go to Olga's Facebook page, you'll see some wonderful designs. Thanks very much, Anne, and welcome. And we have a, a wonderful border stamp by By Pasha. Wonderful detail. And if you know By Pasha, she's got a lovely trademark style now of adding the text within the designs which is wonderful there's a lot of detail on these stamps if I bring that up a little bit more hopefully you can see the detail a little bit better see I told you practice makes perfect doesn't it how, how many times have I been doing this now and then we have a wonderful A6 stamp um, by uh, Fiona each number has got a different background in it which would be wonderful for your layouts, your mixed media designs, anything like that. Uh, wonderful stamps. If I just turn that over just to show you a bit of the detail, you can see that each number, if I bring that up, each number has got a different texture to it. So it works out really well. Love them. And we have a stamp set, an A6 stamp set by Olga. Uh, and Olga's a mixed media design, again, can be used for all your applications, uh, your layouts. Uh, and there's a, a beautiful layout on the All and Create Facebook page with this once again. Uh, that will show you how to use this for a, a scrapbook layout. It's not a scrapbook layout. Yes, it was. Um, if you look onto the page and if you follow our All and Create Fanatics page, you'll see lots of artwork being shared there with the new designs to inspire you. And there is something for everybody. And we've just got a couple more stencils, which I didn't show earlier. And this one is by Carol Co. And we'll move on to the demo shortly. And here's another one with Carol and Co. And Carol and Co. Carol and Co has been busy. Some wonderful wording on the stencil. And this one's by Olga. Lovely fine detail on this one. And that's by Olga. And then we have one by Ada. Thanks Joanne for helping out. And then finally, this one designed by Ada. And then we'll get on to our demo. And you can find all the products. We'll drop you a link to our stockists of where you can reach and find all the products. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, this is the card that we're going to be creating today. Uh, lots of layers to our design. So this is what we're going to be creating. I think I need to go shopping. <laughs> So we'll start with the background and we're using my stamp set, which is the uh, Quirky Blossoms. 
and if you share this video we'll be giving away this stamp set to one to one randomly drawn winner who shared the video so this will be offered to the winner of the randomly drawn winner who shares the video so thanks very much for that so we'll make a start so I'm beginning with a piece of white card this is 350 GSM white card um, and it's four and a half inches in width and six and a half inches in length technical issues at my end hope I haven't missed too much no you haven't missed too much at all uh, you're just on time I'm just about to start the demo and you can easily watch it from the beginning to see all the stamps so I'm now going to begin with a layer of the turquoise I'm just going to get a baby white ready sorry about my arm so we're going to begin with a layer of turquoise acrylic paint you can use any acrylic paints that you want and we're going to apply this to the white card directly to the white card and you want a good even layer of paint you don't want it too thin but obviously you don't want it you don't want it like butter but you do want a good a good layer of paint for this technique to work it would help if my cut and dry foam wasn't quite so hard okay so we have a layer of, of the turquoise paint and we're using um, a Toile de Moise stencil which is the number stencil which I love because it's nice and random oh it's my favourite colour as well Eileen I love the colour but I am I'm turquoise mad at the moment and this colour scheme I can't stop using so we're going to place the stencil decide where you want the stencil obviously there's lots of numbers there and then while the paint's still wet give it a good rub over obviously you don't want to rub too hard because you're using card here at the end of the day and obviously you can see it lifts some of the paint so move your wipe around so that you get a clean area and then just keep moving round and give it a reasonable rub and just move that round a bit more and because you're using a 320 GSM card it's a good thickness of card but if you're unsure you could use a watercolour card so we'll just tip that on the floor and then if we remove that you won't see anything yet but as we start to dry you'll see the numbers come to life which I will bring closer to the camera we'll just dry this I knew some would look on my own page Anna sorry I did put a link I'm on the All and Create Facebook page today representing All and Create just so that we can show some techniques to some of our new viewers on the All and Create page So if I just clean my area and then I'll give you a close up. So hopefully you can see that. That will give you a close up of the detail of the numbers. I'm hoping you can see that. Thanks Monique and welcome. Loved your card today Monique. It was wonderful. So hopefully you can see from that the numbers are all visible and you get the white areas. And that stencil gives wonderful detail I really love that really love that so I'm just going to try it a little bit more and then we're going to add another layer I like to add the layers just because it adds a bit more interest but when you're using moisture you do need to give your card a really good dry and I'm just going to clean my stencil it's one of my favorite stencils and I like to I know some people don't clean the stencils but I do like to clean my stencils at least a little bit anyway so, and then what we're going to do is we're going to find a scrap of card which I'm trying to frantically find now underneath all the stamps so we now get a scrap of card and what we're doing then is we're using the 
ruby so you can use any red color or any color scheme that you like and then we're just going to add a touch of paint to the card so what you're going to do is you're going to dab this paint onto the card again a reasonable layer and then what we're going to do I'll just move that up a bit is we're going to press the card slightly I hope you can see this slightly can you see that let me just bring, let me just clean this let me just put a bit more paint on and then I'll move this paint and then I can move it up to the camera so we dab the paint on here and then what we're doing is a mono print in a different way oh thanks Janet and then we're just literally pressing the card onto the background and now you don't want too much you're literally kissing the card against the other piece of card and this just gives another little layer of interest so can you see that do you know i've got my pajama top on janet but i've got leggings on but i had to put my pajama top on i've got an excuse it was too warm so my pajama top's nice and thin but you're all used to me crafting in my pajamas now so you're used to it so that gives you a random effect but it means that you don't have too much paint and it's just subtle touches and then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our image first just so that we know where they're going so we'll stamp the the blossom and as i said if you share this video we'll be giving this stamp set away to one randomly drawn winner who shares the video so i'm going to add two stamped images on here so we'll put one there and these stamp so easily the detail I know I'm slightly biased because they are my stamps. Love that technique. Thanks, Sue. I love doing that because it means that if you only want to add a light touch of paint rather than too much paint, it really adds a light effect. And you can add, you can add that as many layers as you want. So you could add 20 different colours of paint. We used to do this in my shop years ago, about 20 years ago. Um, and I remembered it the other day. So we'll just add that one there. Okay, so that shows me, that just gives me so I know where my design is before I add the next lot of stenciling on. So we're then going to use Cass's stencil. We're going to use this area here. And if I just move everything out of the way, we're going to... I keep moving the card you know because I forget that I'm doing a Facebook live I keep moving my card nearer to me and forgetting that I'm actually talking to somebody so we're going to place the stencil on here and then we're going to add some white paint I just think a pop of white really helps with the design sort of gives another layer as well I do like adding the little details, that's what takes the time for me. Sometimes they can be simple designs, but when you add lots of layers, it just gives lots of interest. Hi Anne, thanks for joining us, thanks everybody for joining us. So, whoops, that just gives you another layer of detail, as you can see there. And then we're going to add a touch down the bottom here so we need a touch more paint I always put a small amount of paint out because then I don't waste it so we're going to put some here so again you spend time adding different layers and when you've got stencils and stamps I just think there's endless possibilities and if you use a good quality cardstock or watercolor one of the smooth watercolors is probably better if you're stamping unless you use your stamp platform so that gives us a further layer. Oh, I'm so pleased you like the stencils, Arena. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right. Hi, Anne. And just one more little area here. Each card, as you do, always looks different when you make it a second time. So I'll show you the detail on that. So 
so hopefully you can see all the detail on the stenciling so that's our second layer I'll just move this out the way and then what we need to do is we go back to our piece of scrap card and we add some of the ruby to the card this is for our flowers this is for the stamping of the flowers and then we'll add a bit of turquoise let's move this along so you can see add some turquoise to this I'm running out of paint I need some more paint so we dab the, the paint onto the card and then we do another mono print so again kiss the card now this is for your stamp flowers so you don't need much just use your scraps of card no special card okay and then what we can do is we can stamp our flower onto this area I won't need to cut it out because I've prepared two earlier so you literally find some of the turquoise area and some of the red and just stamp the quirky flower heads as you can see there hi Shirley oh thanks very much Sharina so that just gives you the detail of the stamp okay and I've actually cut these out as you can see here you can see the turquoise and the mono print and it just gives that light layer and it means it all coordinates together okay so we're going to add this to our flowers so that we give them some dimension so we'll bend those and I think we'll add some cotton threads behind because that's a little bit of a trademark of mine I like to add cotton threads hi Shirley I love the blue with the red as well Corrie I seem to use it quite a bit at the minute but you know when you get a colour scheme in your head and you just love using it and then you can't move away from it I'm like that at the moment and now I can't find the end to my cotton thread why does that always happen on a Facebook live whereas if you're on your own it never happens I've got me oh, come on that's it I love the border on these as well Anne and if you add some white pen highlights which I've done later it really stands out so we'll add the flowers which will capture some of the cotton threads let's just pull that down a bit that's better and then we'll add the other flower which I've, that's it when you're working on a Facebook live I don't know about you but you're working about an inch of space and then you can't find anything it's ridiculous so that's of our quirky flowers and hopefully you can see all the layers of detail if I lift that up you can see all the layers of detail in the card Tracy's signature threads I can't help using them Eileen I'm using them all the time so then we are going to we need to ground the flowers because at the moment they look like they're floating in midair so we need to add some grounding to that so we need our ruby paint we had a touch of paint and we're going to run our credit card old credit card of course not one that's in action and we're just going to add some lines hopefully you can see that just this this is what I'm doing I'm adding some lines to the base of the flowers just to ground the imagery I don't want the flowers to just appear floating in midair okay I think that's enough for us and while we've got the red paint here we'll add some delicate splatters of paint hi Linda Missouri wow welcome thanks for joining us 
so we're now going to add some splatters so we just need to split i'm sorry about my hands in front of the camera so we're just going to add a few splatters of paint which i will get absolutely everywhere all over my ipad and everything because that's what i do and my husband goes mad and i end up going to the shops with paint splattered all over my face because that's what i do so we just add some splatters i will bring it up closer to the camera so you can see and then we need to do that with the blue paint because that really adds to the overall effect so we'll just add some splatters oops too much paint but never mind I'll pick that up so need my spritzer bottle and then we'll just add some delicate blue splatters as well because if the if you make sure they hit the flowers that just adds a bit more detail to the flowers and brings the turquoise from the background into the foreground of the flowers so we'll move that out the way and we'll just put this in the bin because I've got stuff everywhere I wish you could see my floor so hopefully you can now see that we have the stenciling in the background the stenciling in in the in the second foreground then we have the flowers which are our focal image and then if you look at those flowers, I've got a few splatters and a few splatters of red in the background. All, all these layers just add and make your card a lot more tactile. Just a reminder for those that are just joining us, if you share this Facebook Live from the All and Create Facebook page, we'll be drawing a winner and the winner will win these um, floral stamps of mine um, and the winner will be drawn tomorrow. OK, so now we need to add a touch more detail. So I'm going to, she says, frantically trying to find it. I'm going to use the my Date It stamp, which again is another one I can't stop using just to add that little more detail. Um, I love using this. Um, hi, Kath. You can add it in a mixed media um, layout or journal page or your bullet journals but I use it tend to as a nondescript way, just in a mixed media way. So I've got the numbers put on, onto my acrylic block. And I'm using Archival Vermilion. And I'm going to add a touch of stamping here. That just adds another layer and you can still see the stenciling of the white below, which is what I like. Hi Loretta. We'll just add a few more stampings of this as well. So we'll add that slightly off centre. Like so. And then one more. I do tend to spend a lot of time when I'm making my cards deciding what layers that I'm adding. And I do like the fact that these flowers make the perfect focal image. You don't need much else. It's just adding the layers in the background. So if I bring that up, you can see, again, all the detail of the numbers. Hopefully I'm doing a bit better today with the close-up shots. Okay, now I want to use some tape. If I move this out of the way just for a second, this is just some... I think it's Dina Wakeley's media tape, but any tissue tape, anything like that, just make sure that you can see this. There we go. And then we're using my, oh, thanks, Monique. We're using my um, sentiment stamp from the same stamp set. So we're using this wording here, the actual blossom wording. And just going to stamp that onto this tissue let's make sure we've got the sentiment the right way I'm doing this slightly higher so I can't see just so that you can see and I can't so there's the stamp again stamps beautifully and the reason I like this media tape is one because I can tear the edges and it makes it look a bit more random and two when you place it on your background it gives another layer of interest, but 
everything below it is still visible. So I really love that. I love the fact that everything is still visible on the card. Really like that one. And then we're going to stamp the months. So I'm using these months here of this stamp set. And again, I'm using Vermilion Archival. And I use these months just randomly, but you could use them for a specific date for somebody's birth date. But I tend to use them just randomly in my designs. Okay, so that's how they, oops, that's how those stamp, just so that you can see those. Oh, brilliant, thanks. So we're now going to cut these out. I didn't prepare these beforehand, so excuse me cutting out on a live video, which I'm sure isn't very interesting for you all. But we'll just cut these out, which won't take me two seconds, because again, the design makes them easy to cut out because they're just all straight lines, which is what we love. Just cut the June out. This just gives my card another layer of interest. I do like to make tactile cards just to give them a bit more interest. Okay. And then I will just do it on one of them because you will get the idea. Because we've got white edges on these card here, I'm going to apply the archival ink around the edges. Sometimes I like white edges, but on this occasion, I don't want any white edges. We're going to put that on there. Okay, so we'll just cover these white edges up. Again, it's just thinking about your stamps and how you can use them, your stamps and stencils all together and add lots of layers to your designs. Hi, Lena. So we'll place these to the bottom left. Hopefully you can see this if I bring this up a bit. June and July. Have any of you got anything exciting planned for the bank holiday? I'm hoping to do some gardening. Gardening weekend for me because it's going to be nice apparently. Here in the UK, we're expecting some lovely weather. So I'm going to be gardening and then I'll be aching on Sunday. And then because we should still have some, if I can find my, we should, we should still have some paint left on our piece of cut and dry foam. We need to go around the edges of our card just to, it's just a little finishing touch on the card. And just for those that are joining, maybe joining a little bit late, if you share this video, we're doing a giveaway and the winner will win this set of stamps that I've used today. So hopefully you can see the detail there. And then just a little touch, a couple more touches. No bank holiday here. Oh, sorry, Cory. We've got a bank holiday here and I'm making the most of it, definitely. So a few white splatters, which I'm trying not to shake the camera. So I do apologise if I'm shaking the camera. But I do like the white splatters because I just think that adds a little touch. And then if we go round the flower, you'll see some markings on the flowers. Highlight those with a white pen. Only a It's only a little touch, but that sort of makes the flower pop. And for me, adds to the design. You just randomly, you're only putting a couple of touches on, like so. And then if we add that to a black mat, hopefully you can see how all the colours pop. Hopefully I'm doing this okay. And that shows you the card finished. The only difference with the card that I did that isn't for the live is I added some stitching here and here all the way down the stem. Obviously, you don't want me to add stitching 
and watch me adding stitching you can all do a straight stitching so what I'm going to do on this card is I'm going to add a few staples again another little touch so I'm going to add a staple here and here just on the blossom and then I'm going to add a few staples on my flowers I like to get as much use as possible out of my products hopefully you can see those staples on there and that's the card I love adding splashes as well but they do go everywhere Janet honestly it's all over my wall it's everywhere so that's the card finished hopefully I've inspired you to give give these a try um, I'd love any feedback that you've got um, on the Facebook lives and anybody who's joined us late if you share this video we'll draw a randomly drawn winner and you will win this stamp set if I just get the cover for you you'll win this stamp set if you share the video and I've just made one more card for you just to show you to give you another a lovely Tracy card thanks Corrie and then just to inspire you a little further before the weekend here's another variation of the card this is to show you that it doesn't have to be on white card it can be on craft card thanks very much Joanne it can be on craft card as well so all that's left for me to say is thanks very much for joining me and a huge thank you for all your support um, and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I'll probably be back next week with another Facebook Live. Thanks for joining me Beverly. Thanks ever so much everyone. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.